We can determine the integrated area of diffraction peaks using the peak integration module in Profex. First we have to open the module window from the window menu, window, peak integrals, and it opens as a dock widget on the bottom right side. It's an empty table by default. And now we can drag ranges across individual peaks. For example, if we want to integrate the first strong peak in this data set, we move the cursor to the left of the peak where we want the, the range to start. Then we hold the shift key on the keyboard and use the left mouse button to drag a range across the peak. Now we have defined the range in which the, the blue curve is integrated. And this range is added to the peak integrals module. We can still adjust both ends of the range. So if we go to this box and use the scroll wheel or enter a value, we can still adjust the range, fine tune it. And in the last column, it will show us the integral in uh, degrees by counts. We can drag multiple ranges. For example, for the next one, we hold the shift key again, use the left mouse button to add another range. Let's call it peak two. And we can still fine tune it and it will show us again the integrated area of this second peak. On the right side of the module, we have a few buttons. The first one deletes the currently selected range. So if you want to, uh, if we accidentally drag the range here, we can just highlight this line and use the first button to remove it. The second one clears the entire list. It will ask if we really want to remove all ranges. We say yes, and now the list is empty. And the, the one at the bottom will center the selected range. So the center line, the vertical line drawn in the middle is placed at the highest intensity within the range. So for example, if we want to center this uh, range number one, we click and now it's centered on the peak and the same with the first one. Now it's also centered. By default, the integrated area is calculated down to the zero line. But if we activate this button here, subtract linear background, it will draw a linear background curve from the left end of the range to the right end of the range. And now this integrated area is only calculated from the area above this uh, background curve. And if we have multiple data sets and we want to apply the same uh, configuration of integration ranges to all of them, I will open a few more files. We can use the button number three, apply ranges to all open projects. We will get the usual uh, project selection dialog. We select all. And now all of these open projects have the same integration ranges defined. So it's very easy to configure it once and apply to all projects. If we want to keep this configuration and use it again in the future, we can save it as a preset. So we simply go to project, save refinement preset. And since we don't have a refinement project or any curve fits defined, only peak integrals, only this one is checked. So we say yes and give it a name. If you want to use it later on, we just open files again. We go to the presets menu and we select two peak integrals, the preset we just created. We can apply it to all open projects and here we go again. So this is a very simple method to calculate peak integrals. For example, sometimes they are used for phase quantification. Some methods rely on the integrated area of peaks. Um, that's why this was implemented in Profex.